Welcome to, what are we now, episode 14 of Create This Book 2 by Mariah Elizabeth and Ashley Monet. Avant will be me. This is actually a super special episode. I'm not going to get into it just yet. But as always, ever Create This Book 2 video I have ever made is going to be linked in the playlist down below. It's going to be included in the playlist that's linked down below. Wow. How many times do I have to say it before it comes off naturally? <laughs> Anyways, we have three new prompts to tackle this week, so enough of me talking. Let's jump right in and see what I can create. Okay, first prompt this week. Create splatter. Splatter paint here. Pretty straightforward. Although there were a few varieties of splatter I'd considered. Rainbow paint splatter. Black ink splatter. It's me, and I just have to go with blood splatter. Once I was locked on that idea, the first concept that surfaced from the depths of my brain ocean was Dexter. Great show, minus the ending, one of the worst in TV history for me. Soured me so much, I refused to watch the reboot. Like, no, you guys had your shot and you ruined it. Someone feel free to tell me if I'm missing out, but I hadn't heard anything good about it either. If you're in the dark about Dexter, well, let me give you a little synopsis. As a young child, Dexter was sadly present during the brutal murder of his mother. The police on the scene literally found him just a little baby child sitting in a pool of his mother's blood. One of the officers valiantly ended up adopting him, raising him as his own. However, as Dexter grew up, the officer began to notice that Dexter was exhibiting like all of those classic warning signs of a psychopath. No empathy, a penchant for torturing little animals. You know, as a cop, he was no stranger to the world of criminals. Like, he knew the writing was on the wall and Dexter was doomed to become a killer. So, rather than try to rid the boy of his demons, he kind of teaches him to embrace them instead, but with a set of rules. A code, if you will. He raises Dexter to do just what he wants, to kill, but, but, only those that deserve to die. Ah, yes, vigilante justice. As a cop, he had the advantage of, like, having access to information on certain criminals. You know, the ones that committed horrible crimes and somehow managed to avoid serving hard time. Those guys. He teaches Dexter the ins and outs of crime scenes, forensic, the investigative process, like, giving him intimate knowledge on how to avoid getting caught. And Dexter grows up to be what seems like a very well-adjusted adult male, living a seemingly normal and pleasant life as a blood spatter analyst for the police by day and a methodical disciplined serial killer by night, taking out the trash of the city. Dexter was actually coined America's most loved serial killer. And I get it. Like at his core, he was making the world a better place. I know, I know, all of the naysayers are going to get all hyped right now and say, Killing is never okay. Well, that was the show's overall message. Dexter had so many ups and downs trying to balance these two sides of himself. And of course, nothing is black and white. I loved the show, though. It had so many of those intense, like, oh, no, we're going to get caught moments. But again, the worst ending ever. <sighs> but. Focusing on the art, I thought it would be fun to try and kind of do the suggestion of Dexter's portrait, but in bloody drips, which is really just a bunch of vertical red lines that I made using a paint pen. <laughs> It'll look better once I add the splatter. Now on the neighboring page, I just decided to add this Dexter quote. I am neither man nor beast. I am something new entirely. I am Dexter. Again, it highlights that inner battle Dexter has with himself, like he knows there's something inhuman about him with his need to kill, but also knows that his code keeps him from being the same as any of the other monsters out there. He's truly something in the middle. Alrighty, now it's time to get messy. The splatter time she comes.
Let's get this glued into the book. Oh, I love it. There is something so satisfying about splattering paint. Maybe because it really just lets you like take out all your aggression on that paper. <laughs> Fun stuff though. All right, on to the next. Create layers. Make this page layered by adding bits of paper, tape, ribbon, stickers, etc. Not gonna lie, this was a prompt that I was kind of meh about. No immediate ideas were popping into my head, and when that happens, I kind of like to work backward. So instead, I'll pick something that I really want to draw and then figure out a way to incorporate the prompt's directions into it. For this page, I wanted to draw prints. <coughs> No, no, not my cat. I've mentioned before that all of our cats are named for some of our favorite legendary musicians. And yes, this boy is named for this musician. I love me some Prince. I've worked in a plan where each of the three musicians that I've named my cats for will be paid homage to at some point in my books. Stick with me and keep an eye out for the other two. But today, it's the late great Prince. I decided to use purple acrylic for the background and then do a little marker drawing for the man himself. You just gotta love someone who goes against the grain, like societal norms, psh, and boy, what a talent he had. I need you guys to go in the comments and tell me what your favorite Prince songs are. It's kind of hard for me to choose mine. I know my first love as far as Prince songs go was definitely When Doves Cry. I think I was like 13 and had that stuck on loop. But now older and maybe not much wiser, but older, I love jamming to Little Red Corvette. Like I love the raunchy double entendre. Also, I drive a red Toyota Yaris. And every time I catch myself speeding a little in my head, I'm like, Little Red Yaris, honey, you've got to slow down. That is looking so, so good. Let's bust out some colored pencil for those awesome little details like his signature chest hair and perfectly groomed mustache. Gosh, this man was just oozing with fabulosity. A few juicy highlights here and there, and now we can get into how I worked in this prompt because, you know, that was the afterthought. <laughs> I wanted to layer a bunch of torn pieces of paper. I thought that would give the piece some really cool texture. So I started by tearing the edges around my drawing, step one. Then I whipped out another sheet of paper and using my acrylics again, painted a purple gradient all across. After all, purple was Prince's signature color. Purple rain, purple rain. I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little extra musical today. Once the gradient was done and dry, it was time to let her rip. I started by tearing strips, then tore those into little squares and separated them into little piles so the gradient was still apparent. And then we could get to gluing. Starting with prints. No, not you. And from there, it was just a matter of gluing all of the little squares in layers, keeping that gradient look going. I was loving it. And that's a wrap. Without a doubt, like this is definitely within my top five favorite create this book pages I've done on this channel. Every now and again, I create a page I just love and I don't have the words to justify my love for it. It's just good. And that brings us to the final prompt of the week. Create a question. Use this page to ask a question. And my question for this page is, are we there yet? I used a cute, fun, kind of slimy looking font for this and as usual, messed up the spacing so I couldn't fit the question mark. But that's okay because I'm gonna cover the page in question marks. That should compensate for it, right? All right, now for the image I will be drawing to accompany this question, I chose a little snail. Well, actually two of them, a daddy snail and his baby girl snail. 
I was channeling those awful movie clips where, you know, the family's on a road trip and halfway through, the kids start pestering the parents with the, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm still working on that new school cartoony style. It's not coming as easy as I'd like. Not going to give up, though. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Everything's going to happen for me, just so long as I never have no in my heart. Anyways, I drew that daddy snail with a very pained look on his face. He is struggling. He's annoyed. He's doing his little snail best to get to where he needs to go as quickly as he can. And there's baby girl having a grand old time, not a care in the world. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, like, where is this going? Why this question? Well, I told you this was a very special episode, and it is. We are officially halfway through with the Create This Book series, all three of them. So I mentioned each book is going to have 27 episodes so that I generally finish around the same time for all of them. Well, 27 episodes times the three books, that's 81 videos, which of course is an odd number. So if you split it in half, you have 40 videos for the first half, you have 40 videos for the second half, and the video right in the middle, number 41, that's what we're doing today. So that's kind of why I came up with this little prompt, like, are we there yet? Because it feels like we are moving at a snail's pace here. We have really done so much on this series and I love it so much. It's always something different. That's what keeps me motivated. I don't think I've ever been so motivated to finish something in my life. So it's gonna happen. Look at these chunkers. <laughs> Half done. Oh, I just can't wait to do like a flip through of each of these. But yeah, that was it. That was my little announcement. Thank you guys for sticking with me thus far in this process. Hopefully you will ride all the way to the end with me. We're halfway there. Let's get back to the video. All right, time to do what I always do and beef up some of these lines. That definitely gives it more of the look I'm going for. Bold, cartoony. But now we need the pièce de résistance. It's juicy highlight time. After that, this one just got a little corner rounding for fun, and then it was ready to be glued into the book. Ah, this is cute. I still definitely need work getting to a point where I'm happy with what I create in this style, but it's kind of my new obsession trying to get there. The good news is I have a whole half of each of the books to continue to practice. <laughs> but with that, we can recap this week's work. We created Splatter. Blood Splatter, which of course brought me to Dexter. The Blood Spatter Analyst by Day, Vigilante Justice Serial Killer by Night. I love this page. I loved the show, with the exception of the ending. This was a good one. I was perfectly happy with it. But then we created layers with these torn bits of paper and my drawing of the legendary prince. And suddenly nothing else measures up. Why is it when you do something so good, the regular good just doesn't seem all that good anymore? <laughs> I love everything about this one. The colors, the textures. It's a yes for me. And lastly, we created a question. My question, are we there yet? Which all of us have probably been wondering, are we anywhere near done with the Create This Book series? Well, now we all know we're halfway there. Well, I guess that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I cannot believe we are halfway through. That is so exciting. All the love I get on my Create This Book videos, like it is unreal. I'm a little bit terrified for when it comes to an end. But don't worry, I got plenty of ideas to keep us going. We're not going anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.